Here are the 25 best mods for Project Zomboid in July 2022. 10 years later, Cars and Wrecks. This mod adds new textures for the vanilla cars and wreckage, making them look old and worn out. It's intended to be used alongside the mod 10 years later, which adds vegetation to the whole world. It's perfect for a post-apocalyptic style run. Craftable Produce Sacks. This mod allows you to craft produce sacks in the game, which decay in the same way as normal produce. You'll need an empty sack, a needle, some thread, and whatever produce you want to pack. Braven's Bicycles This mod adds a working bicycle to the game. The more you pedal, the more tired you get. Also, you are completely vulnerable to zombie attacks. You can add storage by finding parts in the world. Yaki's Makeshift Clothing This mod adds 40 new craftable medieval-style clothing. It's perfect for role-playing a post-apocalyptic playthrough. You can make clothes from sheets, trash bags, and even potato sacks. There are more clothes of different eras coming in the future. Ultimate Experience Tweaker This mod allows you to set an XP modifier for every individual skill in the game. If fitness or nimble are too slow to level up for you, just make those skills level faster. This mod also makes some small updates to the character creation and skill panel UI to accurately show how all multipliers add up. There are more advanced features in the Advanced Sandbox Setting tab. M1, A1, Abrams this mod adds a drivable tank to the game. You can even shoot zombies with it. Just switch to the loaded seat to load a shell, then change to the gunner seat and fire away. The tank only spawns once per world. Stalker Armor Pack This mod adds 81 outfits and 64 headpieces to the game based on the Stalker universe. It includes the three vanilla games and outfits from the Anomaly mod. All items are distributed across the map on containers. In most of the outfits, you can wear the hood up or down. It features all 9 vanilla stalker factions. Some outfits have back attachments. All of them are just cosmetics for now. The pack also includes 9 different types of gas masks. Added sound effects to items transfer. This mod adds different noises and sound effects when you transfer items between inventories. There are 60 different sounds. The author has plenty of mods that add sounds to different actions in the game, such as dismantling objects, doing car mechanic activities, and more. Anger Plus This mod adds the anger module to the game alongside some new features. You can anger by feeling pain, breaking your weapons, tripping, or sometimes from being drunk. If your character is angry, you'll start dealing additional damage on hit. However, this will also increase the chance of losing the ability of your weapon and will make you feel tired faster. If your anger level is high, you'll start to gain unhappiness and stress. If your anger is very high, you'll start feeling some head pain. High anger will slow down actions that require focus. Very high anger can cause you to get scratched while going through a tree. Hitting and killing zombies will reduce anger. Sitting, reading, exercising, sleeping, and simply being alone will also reduce anger. The mod also adds 4 new traits. Calm reduces all anger gain by 30%, Irritated increases all anger gain by 30%, At Peace unable to increase anger, and Berserk getting zombies increases anger. More starting locations. This mod adds additional starting towns to choose from when starting a new game. It adds spawn points in Ekron, Dixie, March Ridge, and Valley Station. The orange dots in the images show potential spawn locations in each of the given towns. The spawns are based on occupation. Video game consoles. This mod adds playable game consoles to the game. It includes a Game Boy, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, Atari, and multiple game cartridges for every console. To use them, just turn near the console with a cartridge in your inventory and play. Playing reduces boredom and unhappiness. Saf's Cooking This mod expands the vanilla options for the cooking category, adding more recipes and four related item drops. It includes 20 types of new drinks, 15 new food recipes, 20 new types of food spawns, and 5 new weapons. Card Jacking This mod allows players to pull others from vehicles if the door is unlocked. Be sure to have PvP enabled. Tuck and Roll this mod allows players to jump out of moving vehicles. To do this, tap E three times quickly. This mod also allows you to exit or enter moving vehicles at low speeds. SS Playable Banjo This mod lets you actually play a banjo.
when you have it in your inventory by hitting the home key to enter banjo mode. The keyboard becomes the main four strings of a banjo, Iron Remover. This mod aims to nerf the loot in the game world. Instead of nerfing the loot distribution tables, this mod checks for the chance to remove items after a container has spawned its loot. This makes it so that you can stack multiple mods together, as well as with mods like more loot settings for example, that do nerf the distribution tables. With this mod, the loot also has more variants. Some containers will have no items removed, while others will have all their items removed. You can choose between 20%, 40%, 60%, 80%, and 95% chance to remove items. Also, you can enable 50% chance to remove items from zombie loot only. 26M577 APC Replica. Wow. <laughs> this mod adds a new vehicle to the game. It features custom sounds for horn, air brakes, custom mechanics overlay, the turret acts as the tank door with custom animations, Overlays for rust and blood, and 300 capacity storage compartment. But be careful, it's heavy, slow, and massive. Do not take it into a forest. <laughs> Heaven's Heal. This mod adds a new modern mansion to the game world. It's located northeast of the Skillet. It's really good to use for a base. 08 Mercury Sable. This mod adds a new card to the game in 10 color variants. It features a custom mechanical overlay and a spare tire compartment inside the trunk. Disassemble container with items. This mod allows you to take apart any container that has items in it. When you disassemble it, the items will just fall to the ground. Time decreases loot. This mod removes items from containers according to a chance that will increase with the world's age. Containers affected are ones that the player has never interacted with, unless you've added this mod to an ongoing game. You can customize everything in the sandbox settings. Tactical Knife's Sheath This mod adds a knife sheath to the game, which gives an additional slot and also a tactical knife. It can be found in police storages, gun stores and similar places. It can be crafted via the Survivalist Crafting tab. Historical Weapons and Armor This mod aims to add more weapons and armors based off of real medieval artifacts. It currently adds 13 new weapons, 2 armors and 2 helmets. You can use the Blacksmith mod to add a way to craft these items. If you don't have it, you'll still be able to load the weapons and armors from gun shops, pawn shops and similar places. Stalker The Zone This mod is a work in progress recreation of the zone from the Stalker video game series. You can explore the map, which includes foraging zones and car spawns. Be sure to keep an eye on this one for new updates. Halo M12 Seahawk this mod adds a new vehicle from Halo to Project Zomboid. It's small, nimble, and has no armor parts or doors to save you from the zombies. It features two chassis variants, the M12Z and the M12Z Hunter, visible interior and characters, many texture variations for both variants, and a custom M12 horn. Also, you can use weapons to attack from inside a vehicle. If you'd like to be able to enter vehicle interiors or even use a power armor, check this video for the top 25 best mods of June. Thank you for watching.